Hey guys, it's Mallory, and we are playing some Risk. This is one of the pirate maps. Um, it's four-player progressive. Um, I was in another lobby just now on a map I'd never played before, but the person refused to start the game. Um, I played this one, I think, last weekend, um, but I didn't record it. I'm first. This is called Blackbeard's Wrath. Um, 120 second turn timers. I've got some good stuff going on. So I think... Do I maybe just bump up a little bit of everything? Try to keep keep my positions alive, maybe? Maybe start to consolidate myself. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, this territory is plus seven, but it's enormous. This one is a uh, uh, two. There's four continents in it, but only two entry points. So that's like a two for two hold. This one down here is plus five, but again, it's pretty big. This one's plus three, but it's also big, but you only have to hold three places. Everything else is behind you. This is a four, and I feel like this one's really tough because you've, I don't know, con it, continent holding, oh, they just took out a huge stack of mine. Rude. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not in a very good position here because I, I cannot get out of their way. Oh, that's a, that was a bummer. Oh, what a bummer that was. I'm already in rough shape here. I can make my picture a little bigger. Oh, yikes, that was unfortunate. I'm going to lose that three, maybe? Yeah, Red's trapped up there with me. Nothing we can do. You guys! Why? <laughs> Fifi the Wild? That's fun. Puzzling Yodeler 35? Also fun. General Sazama, 13073. They just got this uh, tiny continent down here. Um, oh, I am... I'm feeling quite sad. I feel like I am in trouble here. I am in trouble. Oh, I just need to try and stack. I gotta stay alive. I I have been having really poor luck this weekend. I just think um, sometimes. I, it, it might be a mindset thing, right? Like I'm, I'm not paying, I'm not paying enough attention to what I'm doing. I'm not paying enough attention to what other people are doing. I've also been playing very, very aggressively this weekend, which I think is not my usual play style, and I think is uh, a losing position. So I need to start thinking about being more conservative. I've been playing a little bit emotionally. I've been taking chances that I, I that are just not smart to take. So. Let's see if we can turn this around. But I think that that happens sometimes as you just um, start to get yourself into a position where you're you're just not doing so hot. And opportunity to learn from, from those situations, I think. I am just losing stacks left, right, and center here. I think every single person has hit me and hit me hard. I'm going to connect these positions and I'm going to get the heck out of white's way. Oh, you got to be kidding me with that. 
Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. At least I'm out of White's way. I mean, nothing like losing a five stack. Oh, it was five against two. That's not enough. That was risky. There goes that five stack. Oh, my gosh. I'm the first person out again, I think. I'm getting the four trade. I need to maybe trade early. <laughs> I don't have a trade. I can't trade early. Oh, my God. I am in trouble here. I am, I am in big time trouble. Red's connecting their positions over here. They just took that continent. I doubt very much they hold it, but they've got a nine stack that they can move over. I don't think I'm killable yet. I'm still in too many positions, but I, I think that time is going to come very quickly, especially, especially if I don't get a trade. Um, the last game I played, I did not have a trade on four, and it was... There is just no coming back from that. I need to think very carefully about what I do here. I have this card, so I can park there. Yikes. Not feeling good about this one. And blue is going to get this continent, but like at what cost? They have had, it's a plus three and they have ha had to hit people so hard to get this continent. Um, meanwhile, white is just getting stronger and stronger. They're all over the board. Um, I am just not sure. White's going to be last to trade. Okay, red traded early. I have a trade on four. Thank goodness. The trades are still small, though. Ooh. Yes. Yes. I love that move. Love that move. Ooh. I, I didn't love that move so much. I liked that one less. They red is mad at white. Okay. Two people fighting is good for me. That that's nothing but good for me. Where do I want my card? I have this Blackbeard's Wrath. Hey, that's what this board is called. This is maybe that's a lucky thing. Rogue's Paradise. Or a mutiny wharf. I'm not going to trade yet. I think I take blackbeards, though, to just pop a few more up there. Just got to stay alive. Nobody can kill me yet. The trades are too small. Um, holding off on my trade means, you know, I, I maybe, maybe have a shot at another person trading early. You know, I was going to get that for a trade regardless. Red traded early, so now I'm getting the six. You know, if maybe blue or white trades early, now I'm getting the eight. So um, it's going to be the second trade that becomes make or break, and that is what my issue was on the last game I played, is I did not make it to my second trade, I did not have a trade on four, and I went into that next turn with five cards and like 14 troops. Um, but upon my rewatch, I noticed the turn where I really messed things up. So I did at least identify. Um, where my mistake ended up being. Um, and it was definitely my mistake. I mean, obviously, I had a couple of um, unlucky runs 
that happens in any game, of course, but it was for sure, without a doubt, um, some really aggressive hits I was making that I didn't need to. And, um, you know, I just, I got in a war with somebody that I couldn't win. All right, so I'm going to get the six trade. I think I want the black beard. That's now a 10. I can maybe take this one. I don't think I want to guard it though. Um, I I can I just can't afford to be taking these hits, so I'm not gonna guard it. I'll just see what happens. Ooh, yes, you love to see it. White is starting to get punished for for hitting people so hard. Um. They're starting to have very, very, very little left here. Does blue fortify up in here at all? Because white does still have this four. We are kind of slowly working towards getting white to be in one position on this board. We've kind of backed them into a corner a little bit. Is red gonna break me? They can. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna argue about that. Ooh, they have to break me now to get a card. That was bad luck. Bad luck for me. Bad luck for me. I don't, I, I don't think I wanna hit them though. I think that Getting aggressive like that is, is a game killer. See, if I'm white, I would have taken me out of this position up here um, and trapped me completely behind red. That's what I do if I'm white. I'm going to get away from white's 13 stack. Trade on four. Everything's starting to look up now. Trade on four. I might hold out, though, until the trades are bigger. I'm not, I am not killable. I'm in two places on this board, and this board's not that big. Okay, blue just took their stuff back. I'm, we're, we're all so, so, so even. Man, oh, white is making blue so mad. See, this was me in my last game. I was blue, and coincidentally, it was also the white player. No one else has done their trade yet, so I'm going to hold off. Um. The white player kept breaking me, and then I just kept hitting them relentlessly. And, and I think that was a huge, huge, huge mistake. I do. All right, so I'm in two stacks. Um, if a few of these, okay, blue traded. So I am at minimum getting the 15. Blue took out white's other position. White is now in one place on this board.
Does red also hit white? Okay, I get the 20 at minimum. An atom bomb. Oh, please, no. Seriously? I can't believe that. All just to get this continent. See, being back behind someone like that can be dangerous. I need to remember that for next time. They now have these two continents with a literal one point hold. I, I wasn't, I'm not familiar enough with this board to realize. How about an alliance for now? Sure. I mean, I can't kill you. I'm not, I'm not, oh, that stinks. They don't have cards. I can't get there, though. All right. I got to think about this. I'm not attacking red. Well, I guess I can attack red a little bit. I'm just not going to unlock them over here. Ooh. I don't have a trade. Oh, gosh. So white's going to have a trade. White's. Can white kill me? They'll get the 25. Yeah, they might be able to. Oh, no. If I don't have a trade on four again, I'm in huge trouble. I am in huge trouble. Red is just so big now. I can't unlock red. I cannot unlock them. They, um, red can for sure kill me if I unlock them. If I'm blue, I come down and unlock red maybe. But I don't know. Then red can go right into their direction. Wait, what are you doing? Are they killing blue? No, they can't. They're, they can't get there. They just fed that kill to me. Oh my god, this is my lucky day. This is my absolute lucky day. I'll get to trade. Oh, wow. Imagine my luck. Wow, I needed that. I needed that big time. I get the 30 and I even have a joker. Oh, wow. I can kill white. I just got a hustle. Our alliance is over. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously. Oh, man. Oh, these were like 120-second turn timers, I think. And then I'll get a first strike on red. Oh, shoot. I did that, I did that pathing wrong, but I get to trade again. I, I think I win this. I win this. Do I win it right now? Oh, yay! Oh my gosh! 
This just turned right around for me. Oh, I did one of those things where I just strung my kills. I just took out everyone on the board. Um, I don't think I've ever done that before. That was perfect. Oh, that was exciting. What a fun game that was. Um, blue was an expert. Red was a novice. And white was a beginner. So I was the most experienced person in here. Um, but these were some pretty fierce opponents, I think. Um, that was really fun. I liked that one. Um, that board, I think, is the perfect size for four people. And it's small enough that things move really quick in progressive. So that was a good one. Um, thanks so much for watching. Oh, and before I forget, you know, like... If, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Um, please leave a comment, um, especially if you spot something that I messed up. You know, this channel for me is all about learning and, and just getting better with each game. Um, and, you know, if you like my videos, please smash that subscribe button, ding that bell. Um, and we will catch you guys next time.